Hello there. For today, I have decided that I want to do another open cut pour. I have only got a small canvas, so I have got small open cups. I have three of them. Little uh, shot, plastic shot cups that I've cut the bottoms off. And I've decided to use three of them to see what sort of a pattern I could make using the same colours I did in my previous video of the reds through the pinks. So if you want to know what those colours were, please check out my last video. So I'm going to place these cups fairly close together on my canvas, like so, and pour the colours into them to see what I can get. Now I've got no silicone added to them and instead of using gold this time I'm using light silver. So it will be interesting to see whether that makes any difference to the colours. And I've got black for my base which is um, uh, Renault Art Lamp Black and I'll also be using that in as I do the pouring. So I'm going to put the colours in now just randomly uh, to see what I can get. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to lift them off before they slide off the edges. So I'll just get my piece of plastic. 
that was a lot of paint that I used but I just absolutely loved the colours and I wanted to see what would happen so now I'm going to actually slide these off instead of just lifting it I'm just going to gently slide it towards the edge like so and lift Oh my goodness, loving those colours. And I still don't, I never cease to be amazed at how many cells can still be created using a PVA glue medium with the paint and no silicone or dimethicone added. If I had done these in more of the silver colours with a darker blue background instead of black I would almost have looked at them as some sort of amazing sea creatures but just as it is I think it's just beautiful and I want to leave it exactly as it is I have no intention of um, of tilting it I have no doubt there will be more paint runoff and the paint that I've got underneath I will probably be able to use to dip a few cabochons but right now that is perfect. Very, very, very happy with that. Sorry, I have to keep using the torch. There were just so many wee bubbles from the type of pour that I've done. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. I just hope it doesn't dry too dark, but I certainly won't be scraping that. I will leave it to dry so that in my next video I can show you how it came out. Well, that's it for this pour. Once again, thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time.